Ten years ago, Arthur Cox signed him from Preston on a free. But Ando's grit so often made him the man they couldn't leave out. An ankle injury finished him off. But last night was a worthy tribute by Newcastle players old and new. Lee Clark represented the young Newcastle generation. Two goals, a point made to his manager. Keegan was playing for the opposition. And a goal from the good old days was worth turning up for. Keegan and Chris Waddle setting up Paul Goddard. Waddle, always a star, still doesn't rule out a return, but only for the right deal, and only if Newcastle show the right ambition by thinking big. I think it will take more than Chris Waddle to make this club successful. And if it's if they're willing, if they are willing to uh, to do this, then obviously I'm very interested. But if they think they just sign me and hope I can do miracles, then forget it. Lee Clark is many fans' choice as next off the local production line. His second from Kevin Sheedy's cross put the Newcastle side ahead. But it all turned out for the popular Irishman. Roy Aitken was back over the border to score a rare goal at St James. Even on a testimonial night, there still has to be a winner. Youth had the final say, Lee Makel for Steve Watson, 3-2. As for Anderson, he said he would gladly swap the whole evening for three points at Leicester.